Hello and welcome to my second guide on how to use the Warframe Tenogen. In this guide I intend to go over how to use the Tenogen with GIMP, but I am no expert in GIMP. I literally just installed it today and I've sort of just been twiddling around with the buttons to try and uh, solve a few problems and work out how to use it in the same way that I would use Photoshop. So quickly to start off, this is your basic view. I went over this in the last tutorial, but basically download your files here bring them into a folder then once they're in a folder just click import click on whichever gun dot object that you want to open open it it'll show this click on it go to diffuse get your defuse diffuse go to normal get your normal specular oops and just bring them in should add bit more definition to the object. Now I click on emissive first in this case because there actually is an emissive layer which is this. So as you can see you can change the color of that. It will change the energy color here in the center of the gun. But tint mask is going to be the problem here because whenever you make the mask you bring it over and then decide that you want to try and change colors it won't let you. The only layer you can change is the entire gun color, which is not what we want to be touching. So, to solve this, you go to GIMP, you drag in this mask into GIMP, it'll look like this. Now, the problem is that there is no alpha layer on this. So, this is the channels tab. If you don't have this, you need to go up to Windows at the top, click on Dockable Dialogs click on channels and it should open this. Um, mine opened on my second monitor so if you do have two monitors be wary. Uh, so now you need to go to layer, transparency, add an alpha layer which will add it down here. Now you need to go layer, mask, add a layer mask, black, full transparency, click add. It should look like this and you're probably panicking thinking where did everything go but just leave it as it is go to file go to export as and I'm going to rename mine with the one at the end just because I want the original uh, file the non edited file as well click on all export images down here find your ping file or PNG file and then click export just leave this as it is and click export again now that that's saved, if I go back, change the tint mask again to my edited file, click open. As you can see, I can edit different sections of it without editing the entire uh, design. So that's effectively going to be how you want to edit the file, just so that you can use it in the Tenogen. You can add uh, more stuff through playing around with it, but I am no expert in the GIMP so I shall leave that to you guys basically. So good luck. 